So Michael, we're up to speed with the ultimate technology, but this little beast, back in 1991, there was a fair bit of work going on, because when it arrived from Japan, it was clearly a lot different to how we ended up winning Bathurst in 91 and then 92. So even the simplest things, it originally arrived with a 14 inch front brake rotor. All right. So we had to go to a 14.8 inch brake rotor. We did our own wheel, so a company in Adelaide, CSA, made the wheel for us. Even um, in terms of just the Australianisation of it, we did all the turbos, we did all the engines, we did all the homologation for the front in terms of all the intercoolers. This is a very year. Oh, mate, this is uh, actually not a bad fit for me. Now, you wouldn't like to have a side intrusion crash of the day, would you? No, look, it's... Um... <laughs> <laughs> instantly feel a little bit less safer than what I'm used to, that's for sure. But there's nowhere near the amount of bars and, and clearly even the simple things, we didn't have a cross in the door. Good for driver changes. Pretty yeah, I was just about changes. to say, yeah, when you're at Bathurst and you've got to do a driver change in 15 seconds, that's not bad, but um, I mean, straight away, I mean, obviously you've still got the dash in the car from how it came standard. Um, bit of a change in the, the MoTeC, but what can, you, what can you tell me about, you know, this gear stick? It, well, we did that's about as basic as it comes. Exactly. Isn't it? So we did our own gearbox. It was a Hollinger gearbox. This was a six speed, and this one was a five speed in the previous model. Dog box, you know, they were really hard and clunky yeah, in comparison. Exactly, a lot of work. Um, a lot of this area in here, in behind that panel, is where the boost switch was. All right. So the drivers <laughs> the definitely driver. knew where that was. <laughs> yeah, that was the reach zoomed up. So on full boost, we could run about 1.8 or 1.9 bar, and that was almost 700 horsepower. And as a race car in a Touring Car Championship round, we'd run 1.2, 1.3 bar, and that roughly had 600 horsepower at that time. And, and to put that into terms, like even now, we're not, we're just getting to that point of near 700 horsepower. So to have that uh, 25 years ago, and we're still to today exactly. at that point, that's, um, that's pretty special. So this was the, the really cool one. So where that's set out there now is the lowest four wheel drive mode. And then if it rained, it clicked it all the way around, and that was full four-wheel drive. No wonder it was, it was pretty, pretty wild in the wet. <laughs>